Another one that I owed was Soldier Barber Life. Which one is it? I see the Cape Gang, the Tomb 45 Cape. I see you, bro. Damn, fourth cam was going in on you. Which video is it, bro? Um, Soldier Barber Life is in here, but I need I need to know which video you was talking about. I see it right here. Is that the video you want me to watch? Oh, here you go. Barber, here you go. Barber Studio. So let's see. Oh, here you go. Barber, here you go. Barber Studio. So let's see. <laughs> Let's see what his studio looks like. What's up, like. YouTube? This is Brandon with the Soldier Barber's Life, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my barber studio. Oh with yeah, that's nice. Cuts. So stay tuned and check it out. I know that fish tank is expensive. Yeah, the fish tank is crazy. I feel like as you get older, and you learn more about that stuff. You realize how how epic fish tanks are. Yep, Adam said it. Because this is just like my part-time profession. Uh, the main, uh, my main job that I have, I'm actually a soldier in the United States Army. So this is. Oh, look, nothing like Mike Bibby. Something that I. Yo, that's dude. Enjoy. That's nice, I man. Out. So I do set this up, and outside of my normal work hours, I do uh, do barbering and provide all those different type of services there. So that's why I am here and not in, let's say like a traditional barbershop. Yeah, you went crazy, bro. I know you so spent some bread in this studio. At, um, it's about 144 square feet, about 12 feet by 12 feet in here. And it's a decent size space, uh, 125 gallon fish tank in here, along with a bunch of different other amenities. All right, so first thing I'm gonna show you guys is my barber station. So my barber station, um, I actually got this off of Amazon and it came with uh, the shelf that you see here. So it's this cabinet here, the storage cabinet and all that. Um, the shelves on top, I've actually added those uh, myself just for some additional storage. It's got a decent amount of storage area here. I have a drawer where I put all my little miscellaneous stuff. A another drawer over here. And then all these individual areas here. Okay, I see the Tomb 45. Uh, at first, you was lacking some Tomb 45, but I see the shave gel, the stand. Okay. Well, looking at my barber station, you can probably tell by already that I really love gold. So most of the things that I have is gold, including all my uh, tools and equipment. And then over here on the side, just have like a little booster chair that I use. For yeah, this is legit, bro. Ring light that I have. Ring light. The newer ring light. Uh, this is the 18 inch ring light. And this is probably the best ring light that you can actually get. Um, I did mount it to the wall. And I actually recommend that because having it on the ground, uh, it actually gets in the way. So lighting is very important. I have that light there. I've got a strip light, LED light right there mounted to my mirror. And then I have another. 12 inch oh that's fine light that i have now my dog here, he's so not playing all bro of that plus the um the light that's in the room that i have up here all gives me a really good amount of light in here and i never have to worry about not having enough light so moving on um this is my keller uh salon chair so this chair here um i when i first saw it i said i absolutely loved it and i had to get it um, it's Keller International. It's a, I believe it's called the Knockout Gold Chair. But you can see this is a very high quality premium chair here. Um, it does recline back, very comfortable. Um, always have clients uh, that are saying something about this chair. Uh, they absolutely love it. And it was definitely something that I had to add, being that that's the whole theme that I got going here is gold. So, uh, and then I have my mat that I have, my uh, barber mat format. Uh, I believe that one is five eighths of an inch thick. So it's thick the only thing is, I don't like barber chairs with the headrest that that's on top. I like it for like so for it to here, insert and go flush with the back. Uh, for when I'm doing he got facials, steamers. He got all kinds of stuff. Uh, shave, Purifier. TV. It's kind of uh, have some background noise or just have something going on to entertain. Uh, your clients, if you guys aren't talking, just give them something, or if they have people with them, just something they can watch. The, the main focal point of this room is my fish tank. So this is a saltwater fish tank that has uh, live corals in it and saltwater fish. And this tank is six feet uh, wide. The actual tank itself is six feet wide. It is two feet tall, so the whole tank 
itself with the stand and all that, this sits about six feet tall. So you can see that this takes there you got the mini fridge. a very large part of the room here. Um, what is this? Is that a freezer? Very, uh, it's something that's very therapeutic, especially for the clients. Uh, this is the view that they have. So nice. you can see this definitely something that's relaxing, very therapeutic to them. But like I say, everything in there, these are live corals and fish that are out of the ocean. And this is another one of my hobbies, and this is why I have it in here, because it's uh, another thing that I like doing. That's cool. And then moving on to the side over here, so I actually have my drink station. I've got Look, barber pole hair products. Now. My man's not even working in a barbershop. He got a setup at the crib, and he sells hair products. There, gold it out. And then uh, over here, I've got hair products that I so actually dope. sell. Um, so all different types of hair products that I have here um, from... Uh, pomades, uh, different types. Just of go pomades, to our website. There's an email uh, there. Let us know what you want to do if you want to work at one of the shops. You know, a travel barber bag, and then a table that I would take with house. Print, no apprenticeship in Florida. Uh, so That's the gold uh, uh, the aftershave logo. right there. My sign here that posts all my services that I have. And the prices for those. I think that's two base services. That's a lot of services. And some uh, business cards that I have. I feel just my opinion into this uh, barber studio, and I really do feel just looking around at other ones that I've seen that this could be probably one of the nicest barber studios that you could come across and see. You wasn't um, lying, you guys bro. Are interested? I will be doing a more in-depth uh, tour. Um, of my barber station and different things in here. Uh, Let me see the, the comment section. I'm horrible at subscribing. Let me subscribe. Oh, I'm on incognito mode. I can't subscribe right now. Look, there's another one right here. Uh, barber station tour. But there's 30 comments. See the comments. You put a lot of thought into the aesthetic. Dude, that's awesome. Cool. You're in the army too. Did six years active duty. That's 50 blades of gray. I've reacted to his stuff. Rusty blades. I've reacted to his. Beautiful. Dope studio. Very nice. Great touch with the fish tank. Yeah, the fish tank is 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 fire. How much how much y'all think that that cost to set up a fish tank like that? I wouldn't even know. I don't know if uh, if he. I think he's watching Soldier Barber Life. He wants to disclose that something like that. How much it would run? All right, guys. I think that's it for today. I am done reacting for today. I'm gonna uh, probably edit those videos and upload them. I have not um, with headlines. We've thought of it, but just don't have the. The capacity to do it right now seven and a half thousand dollars in that tank that's crazy it's, it's worth it though man it, it it definitely sets up sets off that whole aesthetic the whole vibe in there it's definitely worth it i appreciate you being transparent and sharing that uh the soldier bob life <laughs>